Same day bruisers, the Drury brothers bond over two big, beautiful bucks. Here we are in northern Missouri, heading for Iowa. Brother Mark's got a few shooters he's on up there. It's the December 10. He showed up last year in December and then stayed. This year, I've got pictures of him on the Reconics now that I'm thinking about him. I look up, listen, I can't believe my eyes. Here he comes. Good shot. Oh my God. Have you and your hunting buddies ever bagged two giant whitetails on the same day? I'm Matt Drury and on this edition of DOD TV, we're doing just that. This edition of DOD TV is brought to you by Cabela's. It's in your nature. It's hard to believe that in over 25 years, dad and uncle Mark had never killed a buck on the same day. That is until, of course, old man Winter made a special trip up to Mark's place in Iowa and had a little fun. Little did the guys know they were about to make some brother history. Let's take a look. Here we are in northern Missouri, heading for Iowa. Brother Mark's got a few shooters he's on up there. Seeing some pretty good activity there. Starting to see some bucks up on their feet. We gotta fill up and get a little petrol. Now we gotta get something to eat. See what they got inside. Casey's got the best pizza ever. We well, talked about the best pizza. It was. We are entering into probably the best window of opportunity to kill a really big whitetail that you can find each year. 25th of October through about the 10th of November. Best 15 or 16 days you could ask for, and this is the best front we could possibly ask for. I'm gonna slip in here and grab this card real quick. Ranger stops, so I'm a little nervous about seeing a buck on their feet. It is October. It's prime scrape time, man. I hate even being down here, but I gotta know who's around in here, man. Not a real good number. God, I love it up here. This is like coming home. Only I don't have to pay taxes. How are we doing? I'm doing good. It's cold tonight. Is it? Tonight's the night. I'm headed to a freestyle big game blind on a Clover Plus field. Perfect location for one buck. It's the December 10. He showed up last year in December and then stayed. This year, I've got pictures of him on the Reconics now that I'm thinking about him. I look up, December. I can't believe my eyes. Here he comes.
Big City, baby. That is what we're talking about. That's the December 10 right there, baby. Wow, bingo, baby. He just showed up. He showed up last year in December and stayed, and then he just showed up in October. And I got pictures of him, and we just put it through him here. Man, what an evening. All these does out here all over the plot. And then he comes strolling in here, just chasing him all over left and right. Big old mature Iowa 10 point right there. Boom, baby, October 29th, and we are done. Happy camper right now. We gotta let Mark know. We gotta get phone lines going here. No way. Check that out, brother. Check it out. We just killed a giant too. They killed a night too. No way. No way. <laughs> the December 10, first order of business right there. And he is legally tagged. What a fantastic hunt for October the 29th. One of those days you won't forget. I nicknamed this deer December 10. He showed up last year in December and I'd never seen him before. No doubt he came in for the food. This year he showed up in October and stayed. There was no doubt in my mind which deer I was gonna target once I saw the picture show up in October this year. And I don't know that Terry and I have ever killed a deer on the same day, but it happened tonight within 10 minutes. A fitting end to a fantastic October. Well, I just, I almost can't believe that it happened. There's so many things that came together here. So this was a deer that Mark and Wade were talking about at the house maybe four or five hours ago. They talked about this deer. Wade said he was a nine. Mark said he, he was a 10. He has a little bitty G4. He's a mature, giant, big head, big body. Just one of those big, nasty, gnarly bucks, Iowa bucks that you love killing. I can't thank the state of Iowa enough for the opportunity to promote the state. He's officially tagged with the governor's tag. We have not moved him. He's not been moved and he's looking good. Now there's a sight we've never seen in 23, 24 years of doing this, brother. Congratulations. By golly, they're pretty similar. Two real, real similar big giant whitetails here in Iowa. And you know, we we look at all the criteria that Iowa sets, sets them apart from a lot of other states, but they're so proactive about giving us that information, that vital information, number of does that are gonna be harvested, safety, you know, taking some youth hunters, maybe the hush program, the tip program. There's a number of things that Iowa has really tried to install that a lot of other states haven't done, and they'd be a great state to look at as a model. We talk about it all the time. There isn't a better place in the country to hunt, and those are the results right there. That's why I live right here, buddy. There you go. <laughs> Congratulations. Congrats to you. Awesome. That makes two Iowa Giants down and two Happy Jury Brothers. Don't you just love it? As always, make sure to leave us comments in the section below and let us know what you thought of this DOD TV. And until next time, safe hunting. This segment of DOD TV is brought to you by Analogics. Protect your herd with the power of science.